Howdy and Frank Show. Thank you for joining us. We're live broadcasting from the Morongo Casino Studios in Los Angeles, California. Um, Orianti's coming in later today on the show at 9 o'clock. She's going to be in studio. She's going to play some music, and she's going to be up at Morongo uh, on Halloween night. Halloween's on a Friday. And she's going to be at Morongo performing. You can get tickets by going to Orianti Music. Spell her name O-R-I-A-N-T-H-I. OrianthiMusic.com, and uh, I have uh, some pairs of tickets to give away. So uh, if you'd like to uh, go see Orianthi on Halloween at Morongo, uh, call her 25 right now and get a pair of tickets, all right? Mm-hmm. 1-800-955-5567. Okay. Uh, special day. Where's the birthday music? What? Happy birthday to you. Whose birthday is it? Kim Kardashian's birthday today. Oh, she turns 34 years old. Doesn't she seem so much older to you? Actually, she's even younger to me. Oh, I just always thought she was older because she feels like she's been around forever. She looks older. She looks older than 34. Well, she just had a kid. I mean, thir- having your first kid yeah, at uh, 34 true. is kind of old. I mean, that's I thought true. she was much younger. I thought she was in her 20s still. I thought that video came out when she was like 18. And then what the shocking thing is is, I the, don't know. is the... Courtney's older than all of them. She's the one that looks like she's 19. It's all very confusing. Yeah, Kim's family gave up on the birthday spankings a long time ago because she can't just she can't feel them. Oh, Too much like, padding. They're just like, she was uh, like, what do you guys do? And one to grow on. Wow. What do you, what do you guys yeah. do, Mickey? Yeah. Um, yeah, if you're responsible for making her cake, remember she likes them like her men. Uh, rich in chocolate. Rich in chocolate. Mm-hmm. By the way, did you see the little picture of Northwest? It's all over the internet. Her no. daughter, um, she's wearing leather pants at a uh, pumpkin patch. Leather pants? Yeah. The, the she's baby, the she's baby. still in the, in the poop stage, right? She oh, yeah. So it's a big, pants. big fat diaper with big, with, she has her mom's booty. Is that even a fat <laughs> diaper? That's just her butt. <laughs> like, you wear your kids' leather pants to go pumpkin picking. Um, oh, there yeah, she is in her leather pants. <laughs> I, I really have those leather pants? Yeah. Oh, it's kind of adorable, though, if I'm being honest. No. I mean. Didn't uh, what, her Kanye wear, like, leather pants and a kilt one time? Yeah. Maybe he just can't do laundry. <laughs> those are and his. And he accidentally shrunk his pants. Daddy's hand me down. She's wearing those. <laughs> um, you can turn off the birthday music. Uh, Kim Kardashian, I saw this. Uh, a website got a hold of some emails between Kim and a company that was hoping to hire her. To, to endorse a product or whatever. Mm-hmm. And she was going back and forth like, here's what I need, my list of demands. Uh, for starters, her endorsement itself costs 750000 to $1 million. Just to have her go, I really like this shampoo. God. That's a, yeah, just to endorse the product, whatever it might be. And if you need Kim to actually make an appearance to hype your brand, she requires a lot more than that. She wants five. First class plane tickets, plus one in coach. Oh, poor Rob. <laughs> you think it's Rob? <laughs> I mean, yeah, who gets the coach ticket? And why, if everybody is else awful. is in first class, is one person back in coach? That's awful. Uh, first class hotel accommodations, one suite for the talent. I use that term yeah, loosely. Yeah. Who are we talking about? And standard rooms for the rest of uh, her posse. So all of them go first class, but one gets coached, and they all get standard rooms while she gets the, the, uh, the suite. The suite, yeah. Makes sense, I guess. A glam fee. Oh, Heidi, this is so up your alley. Glam fee. If you could be Kim Kardashian, <laughs> you would be. If, if you had the means, you yeah. would just. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe if you, if you had this life, you just turn into this person. We were sitting back going, oh, my God, I can't believe it. But if it was, if it was you, I could totally see you doing this. Right. Glam fee, a day rate for her hair and makeup team. There's a team. Well, oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, she wears a lot of makeup. Yeah. Day rate. What? What is she? What? Uh, no, I'm talking about the glam fee. I've heard you, you know, ask for Dish Nation to go. I need my, I need my makeup person. And you've had like long conversations about. I need my makeup person there. Of course. I didn't know this. I think it was a glam fee. Yeah. Have all you, all you ladies know about this. Have you seen me without makeup? Do you want a camera? Oh my god! Me? Yes, I have. Ooh, right. That's why. That's why the passion. <laughs> that, that's the, that's the main complaint. Right. Uh, plus first class ground transportation and airport greeter service. The hell's that? Well, it's like uh, when you have somebody who's going to pick you up, That's handle they, oh, all they, your bags. The, and the wheelchair guy, he, the airport yeah, greeter service. He wheelchairs yeah. her through the airport. Takes all your bags. Out of the baggage claim. You don't have to carry anything. 
and uh, security and a per diem. So if you want her to endorse any of your products, that's just a million dollars off the bat. Jeez. Then everything else. Mm-hmm. So happy birthday. Uh, also, let's see what's going on in the news. Charlie Sheen is allowing his porn star ex fiance to keep the $100,000 engagement ring. Wow. So he must have called it off, I guess, right? But he gets to keep the raging chlamydia. Oh, so, you yeah. know, at least they get to take something, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, away from all this nice together. Nice mementos. Uh, 1-800-955-5567, caller 25, is going to get those Orianthi tickets. We'll be right back. We're Heidi and Frank. Megan Fox and Brian Austin Green may be separating. Hmm. They just had a baby. I'll let you guess who accused the other of being away all the time due to work. <laughs> mm. I'm going to go. What yeah, side yeah, you on? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of breaking up, I don't know. Uh, this is a story from last week. I just found it, though, that Ricky Lake is divorcing her husband after... Uh, Two years of marriage because they were having some problems. Sources say that, that she kicked him out of their house and, and got a divorce attorney. His name is Christian Evans. Been married two years and they've been having issues for a while. But the final nail was driven into the coffin last month when Christian suddenly took a trip to Ibiza by himself. How'd it do it? Yeah, let's go to that uh, Mediterranean rave island. Mm hmm. And then he didn't call Ricky on her birthday. And her, that was uh, September 21st. So he goes to Ibiza and he's out there, ooh, ooh, at the phone bar and on her birthday and doesn't call her. And so she's like, sort of says uh, she's devastated, completely devastated. And that was the, the final straw. Yeah. That's a tough one to come back from. <laughs> I mean, even just. What, not calling you on your birthday? Uh, that was the, that well, was the, what they, the, the straw that broke yeah. the camel's back? <laughs> We've been married for two years. You don't know what my birthday is. That's problematic. Uh, no, he it? probably knew. I mean, just, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm in Ibiza. I mean, it was uh, the next day there. You can't really I, tell uh, because bars never really close. Bars cl- closed and bars open. So it's really hard to tell what day it is. Not, I thought your birthday was, you know. You the, think on your little trip day. advisor, you'd go, well, wait, hey, I'm going to be in Ibiza on my wife's birthday. Oh, that's not going to be good. I should reschedule. Yeah, I want to ask uh, you, the audience, uh, if you got divorced, what was that final straw? When you were like, okay, cause you, everyone tries to work it out because you don't want to feel like a failure. So what was the final straw? For Ricky Lake, it was her, her husband going to Ibiza and not calling her on her birthday. What was that little thing that finally pushed you over the edge to say, the hell with this, I'm out. one 800 5567 Taking your calls in 60 seconds. Come back to 955KLOS.com every day to hear more clips like these. And to get the entire Heidi and Frank show, go to HeidiandFrank.com and become a premium member. All access, people. On demand. Webcast. Behind the scenes. Too much to name right here. Go to HeidiandFrank.com. Check it out.